So let's find both our linear and cubic models. So I've already put in the data into my L1 and L2. And so first I'm going to calculate my linear. So I go to stat calc, linear is number 4. And I'm going to have it put in as a graph for me. So vars, y bars, function, y1. And that's going to put the regression model into y1 for me. As you can see, it came up in the y1, and it's already been graphed. Now, the cubic model does not have a correlation coefficient. So we can't compare the r's, but we can compare the r squareds. As we see, this does have a very nice high r, 0.989, very close to 1. But since we're comparing two models, we're going to look at the r squared. So 0.978. So remember that one as we go find our cubic model. So stat calc. Cubic is number 6. And then we're going to have it put in in the next slot. So function. We're going to have it put in at y2. So remember, we want to see if it's better or worse than 0.978. So here's our cubic model, and as we can see, 0.98999, clearly better than the R-squared that we had for linear regression. Not that the one for linear was bad, but we do get a little bit better R-squared, so this is a little bit better fit of our data. Let's go ahead and take a look at the plot with the calculator here. So, if we want to have it brought up on a graph, we need to make sure our stat plot is on. They're all off. So let's go to our first one, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So now when I go to graph, I see my first few points. There's my linear hitting them very nice and the cubic, but I'm not seeing them all. So we want to make sure we see them all. So we can adjust the window, window manually based on our data, or we can go to a zoom stat. So we go to the zoom menu. Zoom stat is number nine. There's the linear. You can see it kind of misses this guy pretty here where the cubic can come and almost kind of pick it up. So we can kind of see from this that the cubic is a little bit better fit than our, than our linear. But both models actually fit this data pretty well.